We are back in Stockholm, Sweden. It's the men's final. The hometown favorite, John Oe Boldner. You see him there against Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus. Samsonov knocking off Jorg Roskopf. Meanwhile, in a game you saw on ESPN, John Ove Baldner knocked off Trinko Keen of the Netherlands in five dramatic games. Baldner, the world number five player, the right-hander, he won the gold medal at the Olympics at Barcelona in 1992. He is also a world team champion. Plays right-handed. His opponent, the 19-year-old Vladimir Samsonov, of Valeris, who has already risen to 16 in the world. He was a terror in the junior circuit, winning the junior and youth European championships. A gold medalist, the two of them squaring off at the Swedish Open for the championship. The men's singles final, Stockholm, Sweden. I'm Sean Farquhar, along with Taesu Sin, as we are set to begin. Baldner, the bottom of your screen against Samsonov of Belarus. An orthodox delivery from Samsonov. You see right away, Tay, Baldner having some trouble adjusting to the serve of Samsonov. Absolutely. Samsonov serves very, very unorthodox style. And this is going to be a classic case of youth versus experience. And going by the semi-final results, where Wagner was taken the full distance by Trinko Keen. There is certainly no underestimating this guy from Belarus, Vladimir Sensenov. And look at that score. Right away, he is up 5-0 largely because of his unorthodox serve. Waldner finally able to get on track. Down by four. Another tall opponent for Waldner. No statistics here of the heights of uh, Samsonov, but uh, he must be as tall as Trinko Keen, the, the semi-final opponents of Baldner, who stands at 1.9 meters. Again, Baldner now a little errant in the early going. He's sending a lot of balls wide and long. Very few players are capable of opening up a lead as large as this against one of the world's top players, like Waldner. And a, yet another point. A very quick Snapshot back at Waldner. And again, John Ove Waldner on his heels. And Waldner really looking very troubled by that serve of uh, Sensenov. And Sensenov is not lacking in attacking play as well. Going up 11-2. Off to go to the backhand of Baldner. It's got the court open. Baldner well out of position. No wonder they're calling Sensenov the brightest young talent there is on the world stage. And he's set for more major honors. Perhaps he'll begin with this one, the Swedish Open men's singles title. 11 for your score. The crowd urging their Swedish favorite, John Ove Waldner, who is down 11 4. Now 12 4. Samsonov really picking his spots. Waldner well out of position. Thirteen five. Oh, 
And Sentinov has really collected his points from a very wide repertoire of strokes. And it is Wagner who's making all the mistakes. Sends this one well off the table. Fourteen six. Samsonov leaves. He's got the serve. Really gets this ball up high on the serve. Catches Waldner off guard with the net cord. Perhaps Waldner might not even reach double digits at the end of this first game. That's more like it. Wagner has got to take the game to Sensenov. Wagner making an uncharistically high number of errors here in game one. Another one there, and now down 17-7. One thing that plays to Jean Ove Waldner's strength is the fact that he can rattle off a large number of points in a very short period of time. We saw him do it against Trinko Keen. Looking at the way Samsonov has gone about doing his stuff, Waldner uh, might find this particular opponent a different proposition altogether. Now 17-10. Baldner got all of that ball. Really able to get on top of it. No chance for Samsonov. Baldner now has close to within six. This is a good spell for Baldner. Baldner now getting into a zone. Down by four. Samsonov's got the serve. See, Samsonov, no chance to get over on that ball. Kraut now sensing that Wagner has gotten into stride, trying to lift him even further. They want to see a Swedish winner at the end of this contest. No doubt about that. Now, 14-17. Well, Waldner really pushed that to the backhand of Samsonov, and he was in uh, no position to return it. And yet another mistake. Samsonov showing signs of cracking up. At one point, Samsonov had Waldner down 17-7. Now the lead is just two. That goes long, and finally, Samsonov able to get one back. He's up 18-15. Walden, though, continues to have the momentum on his side. The lead, again, just down to two points. And a big forehand smash from Waldner, and he has closed to within one. A remarkable turnaround, Tay. Well, Waldner certainly did his play a lot of good with that drive down, and it was into no man's land. No way was Samsonov going to get near that one. And the crowd now sensing that perhaps there is still hope after all. Although Waldner gave them some cause for concern with that very poor start, he is in still but not with mistakes of those. Waldner over-aggressive there. The margin of error quite small at 19-17. Net serve, he'll tee it up again. And now, Samsonov has got three game points. And right away, he closes it out. 
But a remarkable run from Waldner, Tay. Absolutely, to but it was uh, a little too late for Waldner to try to salvage something from the opening game. And Sensenov certainly must be lifted now by winning this opening game 21-17. Men's singles final at the Swedish Open Championships 1995. This man, Vladimir Samsonov, holds a one game to none lead over the world number five and Swedish favorite, John Ove Waldner. A very quick smash back to the forehand of Waldner. Nowhere near it. Look how far out of position Waldner is. Can't get back in time. And again, Samsonov goes right back to that forehand side. That's a clear indication of the offensive capabilities of this young man. He knows exactly when to drive home and there was therefore the kill. He's really forcing Waldner to get back to the center of the table. Waldner favoring his backhand. Waldner now doing a nice job of slowing it down, and he's down 9-11. Well, Sensenov is proving to be a very graceful athlete. His drives and his deliveries, what a delight to watch. Very different from the other players on the circuit. Gets a lot of power out of his legs. doesn't quite believe that he has committed that very simple mistake. Oh, defensively, the Samsonov was superb. An unbelievable shot. He had to go way back for this. Watch him reach behind him and get that ball. You see Waldner can't believe that Samsonov was able to convert that into a winner. Now well, for a big player, Samsonov is a very, has very deft touches. Returns the ball very, very gently at the net. Not afraid to get underneath the ball. And look at that. Faulkner again losing Another critical point. Balder now tries a different kind of serve, a straight up backhand shot. Works there, and he's cut the lead to three points. Samsonov, the world number 16 against Waldner, the world number five. Samsonov facing a hostile crowd here in Stockholm, Sweden. And again, a quick shot from Samsonov gives him the four-point lead. Samsonov is definitely not playing like a world rank number 16, more like one in the top 10. To his credit, he disposed of the German George Roscoff in the semi-final. Roscoff also a very accomplished player. So we now know the capabilities of this young 19 year old from Belarus. That's another stinging return straight into the body of Waldner. 16-13 your score. And again an unforced error from John Ove Waldner. Now down 17-13 a remarkable display by this 19-year-old from Belarus. He has cooled off the world number five in his own backyard. Waldner, though, goes right back to work. Not afraid to go to the cross-court smash. That last delivery by Waldner something that he should try to do more often against this very adventurous sense enough and we saw in game one how quickly 
Baldner can play himself back into it. At one point down 17-7, he battled back to get it to 18-17. Now Samsonov leads by three points against the very dangerous Baldner of Sweden. Quick shot there, Samsonov reaching underneath to no avail. He's up by two. Baldner got all of that one. Baldner must try to tie the overall scores at one all and not be left behind two games to nothing. And a great dig by Baldner. He had to reach down to the floor. Samson have discussed it with himself. Look on the replay as he reaches down to his shoelaces and pulls up that shot, recovers in time, and then Samsonov belts one wide, 18-17. Baldner, what an array of shots. Well, that had class written all over it. And uh, again, Ove Wautner certainly giving an indication of what he's capable of. Now, 18 apiece. A thrilling game number two as Waldner now, who looked to be out of it, is up 19-18. Game number two. Oh, well, that's a great winner by Samsonov. A gutsy play down by one point goes to the short side. The quick smash, 19 all. Can't convert there. And now Baldner with a game point looking to tie it up at one game apiece. Gutsy play from Samsonov. We are deadlocked at 20. Well, this young man is certainly giving the partner a very good run for his money. And the home crowd here trying to cheer on and egg him on. Can Wagner equalize as far as the overall set scores are concerned? And Wagner goes in front. Now Wagner with his second game point. Desperately needs to win game two. And again, Samsonov able to level it at 21. Oh, what a terrible time to make a mistake of that nature. Now Samsonov with a game point looking to steal game two. And he does. You see Baldner throw his racket in disgust. Samsonov is down two games to none. He gets the yellow card from the official. He'll be looking to get back into it after this. World number 16, Vladimir Samsonov, leads two games to one. He's down 6-5. Check that now tied at six each. Before the break, Waldner received a yellow card for throwing his racket at the end of game two. A no-no in table tennis. Exemplifying the frustration he feels. Samsonov has really taken the hometown crowd out of this match. Well, as the match wears on, you can really feel the Wagner wants to prove a point to this young Belarusian. And what more than with the home crowd spurring him on, 
but he has been uh, prevented from doing so in the first two games. That's why he got a yellow card for that rare outburst. This was the first time I've seen a, a table tennis player being yellow carded. Big smash from Waldner down the side. Samsonov in no position to retrieve that ball. Samsonov in game two showed excellent poise and tenacity for a 19-year-old as he fought off two game points and rebounded a win at 23-21. Now 12-7 for Waldner. Wagner looks much more relaxed here in game three, Tay. Perhaps too relaxed, Samsonov, a big cross-court smash, down by three. A Wagner may look relaxed but I think the sense of urgency is definitely there deep down in his heart he knows that he just can't disappoint his home fans but uh, he's got this young man to contend with and he's proving to be a very very difficult opponent nice recovery here Samsonov able to swing over and pull that shot back blown serve there Baldner up by two in game three down two games to none. Samsonov so quick off the recovery. But that's not the first time that we've seen Waldner being stunned by one of the returns from Samsonov. This young man has certainly come a long way and he's only 19. He should be able to make a name for himself very shortly, in the next year or so, I think. That shot goes long. Baldner up 14-12 in game three. Tricky serve from John Ove Baldner. Well, that certainly had sense enough off guard. That's another great point for Wagner. His coach in agreement, no doubt. Two big forehand smashes from Vladimir Samsonov enables him to cut the deficit to three points. Oh, and Samsonov really had Wagner running all over. It was the second straight occasion when uh, Samsonov won that big point. There you can see he's going to serve it, but uh, there was no way that Wagner was going to return that ball with accuracy. Samsonov now with the serve. Very nicely done by Wagner. He's got to get his focus right on. Just four more points. Things would be looking brighter for Wagner. Now a comfortable four-point lead. You see that Samsonov has two distinct kind of service deliveries, a very high throw and a very short throw. He gets a lot of different spins off each of those two different serves. However, Baldner now within two points. Of sending this to game four. Last serve for Samsonov. And now 
John Ove Baldner, five game points. Waldner is so near yet so far. Just one more point and uh, we would be 2-1 down in overall game scores. And he did that in style. Waldner has cut it two games to one. He'll be looking to tie it up in game number four. A much different looking Jean Ove Waldner. He was discussed at the end of game number two. What poise here as he fights off Samsonov. Fourth game coming up after this. Stockholm, Sweden, the site today for the Swedish Open Championships. Vladimir Samsonov smelling upset as he's trying to knock off the world number five for a shock win here in Sweden. Waldner up 2-0. And Taysu Sin, throughout the course of this match, we have been surprised by the aggressive play and the tenacity of Vladimir Samsonov. Well, the 19-year-old has been known to be a very aggressive player and has shown that in many moments. And besides aggression, he has put on some dazzling footwork. His serves have been good. And he has certainly caught many by surprise including his very well-known opponent there Jen Volpe Wagner was uh, although in the lead at this moment should not discount the young Belarusian his two one down remember Wagner Wagner well off the mark Samsonov now down 2-4 Net serve. Oh. Big smash from Samsonov. Levels it at four apiece in game number four. Oh. Samsonov now. Four straight points. He wins all five of his service points and leads 6 4. Well, we can see a little shake of the head there from Faulkner in his 15 years of playing table tennis at the very top. I wonder if he has faced an opponent as tricky and as aggressive and as competent as Vladimir Sensenov. That's a fine return by Wagner. Completely flat-footing Sensenov. Wagner continues to look frustrated. And again, Samsonov so aggressive as he goes underneath to smash that ball. Waldner no, not letting him get too far away. 6-9 with Samsonov to serve. Fine return from Waldner. All of those stand him in good stead. Net serve. They'll do it again. And now the deficit, just one point separating these players. We but deadlocked at nine points apiece. Maybe at this stage, 
Sensenov is the one searching for answers. Uh, Waldner allows a very tame point to go against him. Tied at 10 apiece, we'll take a break. One more look at it there. This to deadlock it at 10 apiece. We are in game four, the Swedish Open Finals. Back at the Eriksdal Dalen in Stockholm, Sweden. Game four, the men's finals of the Swedish Open Championships 1995. Waldner with a big smash to move ahead 11-10. Every point that Waldner gains at this stage is going to be a big boost for him. And he does just that in style. But immediately, Samsonov has got the equalizing point. You just can't get away from this 19-year-old. And now Samsonov has moved out in front, 12-11. Waldner just can't shake him. Samsonov continues to press the attack. Two-point lead. Waldner went for speed there, but found Samsonov in top form. And this time, there was his error that has allowed Samsonov to romp Ahead again by three points. <laughs> Sensenov trying not to get too distracted by the constant cheering of the home fans for Wagner. <laughs> Wagner parlays that. 14-12. Samsonov leads. Waldner with the icy stare. Oh. Back just off the side of the table. Lucky for Waldner. He's within one. Table tennis player's dream right here. Off the side of the table. That counts. Oh. Goes long. Samson off again. The two-point lead. Waldner now going to have to elevate play. The game is slowly but surely drifting away from Waldner. Unless he can try something special just like that. Back to within two. And the serve coming up for Waldner. Now is a very good chance for Wagner to try and capitalize on the five serves that he has. And that again glances off the side of the table. Virtually no chance for Samsonov to make a play. The lead is one. And finally, the smash from Waldner goes long, a pivotal point as Samsonov was forced into defensive mode. Well, I was rather surprised by the lack of firepower there in the initial two smashes from Waldner. And the third time he made an error, and there he goes again. Two points in a row now. Waldner has had the offensive position, has not capitalized Samsonov with the three-point lead. That carries long. Waldner within two now. His last serve. But two pivotal points previous to this one. And now 18-17, a very tight game four. Waldner refusing to quit. But should he lose this match, he can look back to those two points, Tay, where he had the advantage 
and couldn't finish off Samsonov. Absolutely. One wonders what would have happened if he had scored those two great points. But it's Samsonov now who has the advantage of five steps coming up for him. 18-17 the score. Swedish Open Championships 1995 riding perhaps on this exchange. And now 18 all. Waldner has somehow scrapped and clawed his way back into this. A thriller all the way here. Very tight play from both these players. You saw them feeling each other out. Samsonov walks away with the point. 19-18, your score. And an error from Baldner, unlucky on the net. And Samsonov now with two game points, an upset in the making, world number 16. And that does it. The world 16 has knocked off the hometown favorite and number five in the world, Vladimir Samsonov, the 1995 Swedish Open champion. A shock upset here at the Anstall Dolan. Samsonov over Waldner, three games to one. A stunning turn of events. Eric Stahl Dolan in Stockholm, Sweden where 19-year-old Vladimir Samsonov, ranked number 16 in the world, has knocked off world number five, Jan Ove Waldner of Sweden, on what is, by rights, his home court. Really, we expected an easier time of it for Waldner, Tay. Well, not only did Samsonov win, he did it in style, and Waldner on... Uh, Today's form, he certainly had no answer whatsoever to Samsonov's play. Well, I don't think Wagner underestimated his opponent. It was just that Samsonov came, play, and conquered, and he did superbly to win with very impressive results. 21-17, uh, although he took the second game 23-21, it was a bit of a, a worry for him, and he lost the third. 15-21, but in the end, he prevailed 21-18 for an overall 3-1 scoreline. Very happy and impressive victor there, the 19 year old. I foresee great things coming up for him. Vladimir Samsonov, the men's singles champion in 1995 at the Swedish Open. What was remarkable to me was that he was good on both the offensive and defensive side. He brought the attack to Waldner, and when he had to go into defensive mode, he reacted beautifully. He was all over the table today. He kept Waldner out of position, on his heels. That's why he took out Waldner, now, went, now receiving the runner-up check. For a player so young, Sensenov certainly has a very wide repertoire of strokes and techniques and game plans, even thwarting the efforts of this 30-year-old very experienced partner who looks very distinctly disappointed with the showing, especially in front of his home fans. Trico Keen of the Netherlands finishes in third position, winning the consolation match. He accepts a check. There are the three top finishers at the Swedish Open Championships. Trico Keen, Vladimir Samsonov, and John Ove Baldner. Wonderful men's final. Samsonov closes out Baldner three games to one. He'll probably move up in the rankings as a result of this victory. We'll be back after this. Another look, Samsonov over Waldner. He wins the men's singles final of the Swedish Open Championships. The Swedish Open has been a production of ESPN Sports. What a final, men's and women's. For Taysu Sin, I am Sean Farquhar. This has been ESPN. Goodbye from Stockholm. <laughs>